Um, I impulsively made an appointment to go wedding dress shopping today. <laughs> Hey everyone, how you doing? I can't believe it, but for the first time ever, this is my last first, my first time ever wedding dress shopping. Uh, of course, you know, I had to wake up with my FN period. So I'm like bloated and feeling meh. And I'm also noticing like as I'm getting older, my period is getting like worse with the cramps. I'm already feeling kind of bloated and I'm like, what the hell do I eat, you know? But I am the queen of fast food vegetarian recommendations and I also just really enjoy fast food. Like I'm sorry, I know it's not good. Whenever I eat a McDonald's McGriddle with just egg and cheese, that I don't get bloated from it. And sometimes it'll even help me go to the bathroom. So if I can get a little uh, bathroom moment in before the wedding dress shopping, that'll be amazing. And I also have some anti-bloating tea that I think I'll probably have, but I'm gonna order. <sighs> it's hot in the house. That's another thing, whenever I get my period, I'm also like a sweaty fucking beast. And I have the appetite of a six foot four, 200 pound man. So I'm like, woo, woo. <laughs> I'm actually going with my neighbor and my best friend, Alicia. Having family across the country really sucks. You guys know, like most of my, like my mom, my dad, my sister, they're all in New York. I called my mom yesterday because I was like, mom, I don't want your feelings to get hurt. And my mom has been just such a gem throughout this entire experience. My plan for today is to only look. Nicole, your plan for today is to only look. The Sagittarius in me is like, girl, no. Being a Cancer rising, I'm heavily affected by the moon. Oh my god, today couldn't have been a better day to go. So I am a Leo moon, so this is gonna affect me in a little bit more of an emotional way. Oh, so cute. It says that I'm gonna be respected and cherished today. Bitch, that's what I need. I need to get showered and need to get going. <laughs> I'm just sitting here talking about astrology. This is what I use, by the way. I am so glad that I did not get engaged or married in my early to middle 20s because number one, it would have been with the wrong guy. I probably feel like my style would have been so different and so like gaudy, you know? I feel like I'm really going for like timeless but fun. Mm. You guys want to know what's another funny thing I started doing and this is very much giving Nicole in her 30s era As I turned 30 December 14th I have this problem now where I'm always worried about parking my car it Looks like there's street parking which is never gonna happen and then there's a parking garage Do they have parking in their space? <gasps> they do have parking This is what gets me excited now I'm like they have parking Time to shower. So fast. <laughs> Honestly, I don't really have time to do my hair, so I am just gonna be doing it curly. Oh my God, and my neighbor that I'm going with, her name is Leehee. I actually did the necklace collab with her. It's still available on her jewelry website. It's called Love Lior, and we did an Elements collection. It's still available. We did like fire sign, Earth, water. I'll link it down below for you guys. I have such thin hair that if I put too much curly hair product in it, it's actually gonna weigh my curls down. And by applying the foam, I feel like it really just does a great job at leaving my hair like bouncier. Let's go do my makeup. Oh, and this is the outfit I'm wearing, by the way. I'll give you a better look at it right before we leave. I'm wearing Yitty shapewear underneath because everyone was suggesting that I brought shapewear to my appointment and I was like, ooh, love that idea and I love the Yitty shapewear. I actually think it's probably the most comfortable one. I think I'm honestly just gonna go with like natural makeup today. I don't wanna do anything super crazy. I don't know like what kind of makeup I wanna do for my makeup and honestly, a lot of you guys are asking too like am I gonna do my own makeup and I would prefer not to. Like I really just want to enjoy that day. I'm gonna wear the Dior Forever Skin Glow. 
I think my game plan here is to just try on as many as I can to get an idea of like what I like because right now I don't even know what I like I just know I want it to be different that's really the only thing I know so for those of you that are married how did you guys feel you know when you were going to pick out your wedding dress like did you know was it your first appointment like I have to keep reminding myself I'm not getting a dress today flash forward two hours later and watch I have like a fucking dress it better not it better not happen I'm really grateful though that my friend Alicia, you guys know her, she used to be my assistant. I'm just really happy that she's coming and that my neighbor Leahy is coming because like they are definitely, they feel like family to me, you know, so it's, it's definitely filling the void of like missing my mom and my sister right now. I used to watch Say Yes to the Dress growing up and I know like Kleinfeld, like they, you weren't allowed to like film or take photos there, like you weren't allowed to do any of that until you like bought a dress. So I'm really hoping, really hoping and praying. Maybe I'll just like ask them and just be like, listen, I'm vlogging, like we'll see, we'll see. Ooh, that's bright, bitch. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> the day that I need my makeup to look pretty good or want to look pretty good. So we're doing okay on time here. I'm very happy because I thought I was really, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm fucking cutting it close, but it's not as bad as I thought. Also, a little wedding makeup tip. I have been setting my under eyes using a puff, as you guys have probably noticed, and especially if you're following me on Instagram and TikTok and other platforms where I'm actively doing my makeup more. Now that I'm getting older, <laughs> in my 30s, take a shot every time I say 30s, I can't use as much makeup underneath my eyes as I used to be able to, and I can't set it the way I used to be able to. So, and even, that's just even, I really can't do as much makeup as I used to be able to, which isn't a bad thing, you know? It's just different, it's just different. There's also something so therapeutic and soothing about doing my makeup. Like there's just something about it. But not on my wedding day. <laughs> That's the one day I'll need it to look good and it'll look like shit. Oh, these cramps, bitch. I do have time to put lashes on, so I'm just gonna use some shadow liner. This is from ColourPop, by the way. I do have a discount code with ColourPop. It's an affiliate discount code. So if you use my code in advance, thank you. I use it almost every day. <gasps> Caught y'all. I really feel like no matter what, a lash always makes me feel like that bitch. Whenever I do my mascara, I always have to be so quiet. I don't know why, but it's like I need to focus or something. I'm gonna use this half lash from Auric. This is Samantha Ravendahl's brand, Rare Beauty. This is their Kind Words Matte Lip Liner. This is in the shade Gifted, and I love it. It's a great lip liner. Okay, so here's the outfit. We have our Yitty shapewear underneath to keep me snatched. And I feel like this is just easy, free flowing. I'm not gonna get hot wearing it. And yeah, we're, we're like ready to go. So in my bag, I'm actually bringing my 30 years bag. And I'm so glad I remember this because I am bringing the wedding shoes I'm gonna wear for at least walking down the aisle, the ceremony. Uh, these Jimmy Choo's, they were so expensive. Like, nobody talks about how expensive weddings are. Why don't they teach this shit in school along with buying a house and I don't know how to pay your taxes? I, don't even get me started. But yeah, I'm gonna bring these. I'm also gonna bring perfume, a towel. A lot of people said to bring a towel because you sweat. And I already told y'all I sweat like a beast when I'm on my period, so towel on deck. I'm gonna throw these in here. I have gas -X, I have Advil, Tylenol, I have a mask, I have lip gloss, I have hand sanitizer, I have a little stizzy, because I'm gonna need that later because I get really nervous. <laughs> cream, this is from Fresh. It's hand cream, but I figured I could use it on my knees too if I check out any short dresses. And I have this perfume with me. It's Deja Vu White Flower from K. Ali. IBS medication, anxiety medication. I'm also packing some earrings. This is Lee He, and we were just talking about how our appointment's at one, and the address is one 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 one, and my angel number is ones. You pointed that out. 
it's meant to be. It's meant to be. And Leahy, you guys, is who I was telling you about that I have the jewelry collab with, so you have to check it out. It's lovelyor.com, and I'll link everything below. It's one of our collabs, the elements, necklaces. This is the air sign. We're right there, guys. We're right there. I am like so overwhelmed with emotion, you guys. Like, I mean, it's got a vibe. I do like it. They're pulling you short dresses. <laughs> you like it's not as all over the place so at this far. point. <laughs> yeah, the style really is all over the pla place. Yeah, I'm what sorry. Your first appointment is for is like yeah. figuring We're trying out. to hone it in. Okay. Well, at the end of the appointment, I'll be able to send to you and you'll have all the details. Okay, cool, yeah. cool. I, I love this. Hey, Max. <laughs> okay. We gotta get through them all. I know, I know. <laughs> oh my god. Like a Barbie. Really... I love, I do like the top of this too. I feel like it's very flattering. Yeah. Wow. I think it's nice, but it's not the wow factor that's yeah. the other one. Well, you know, you've got a couple that are different vibes. This is really yeah, cool. Yeah, at the end, you're going to look great in all of them. It's just what vibe you want to yeah. This, I really like this. It's very different. I really like it. And it's it very, too. very flattering. Oh. Can I see the front? It's beautiful. We're cover really the nippies. Yeah, unless you really hone in. Yeah. I love this, like, loose part here. Yeah. But then it's fitted through the head. Yes. Yeah. Oh my god, wow. The designer, but we're kind of testing out to see what styles our brides are connected oh, with. Oh, cool! First, I like we're that. We're just borrowing these samples. Yeah. Them, and then we're gonna get our own samples of the look. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Just one more look. <laughs> oh, the back has this little slit. Help yeah. Walk. That's so cute. Walk. Oh <laughs> yeah, true. Mommy found a dress she liked today. What do you think about it? I have made it home, you guys. I totally wanted to vlog while we were in the car, but my vlogging attachment uh, la, 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 <laughs> didn't work. So I'm gonna have to order a new one, but what an amazing time for my first time going dress shopping. And it was so special to have both my friends there. And it was such a great time. Like Loho did an amazing job at making me feel like listened to and comfortable. Cause you know, they're in there helping you change. You guys saw some of the dresses that are a no, there was two that I did really like that are definitely in the running but I am really looking forward to making more appointments and going dress shopping in more places and I definitely want to continue to take you guys on the journey with me I'm just really excited but if there's any people out there that have any advice as to like how did you number one how did you know that the dress was for you like did you feel it right away or did you have to sit on it for a minute because I feel like in say yes to the dress they make it feel like it's like <gasps> right then and there and I know that that definitely could happen but I also don't want to have like a false narrative or a false idea of what will happen did you guys have more than one dress because I'm honestly thinking about three dresses I'm thinking about ceremony reception and after party I think those are gonna maybe be shorter dresses I think I want the grand extravagant dress for the ceremony you know what I mean but we'll see thank you guys so much for coming along with me and if you like what you see please consider subscribing and I will see you guys next time bye